What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna take out Andrew C4 and put it in the Calypso. All in one day. All in one take. Let's go ahead and have this conversation. Let's talk about it real quick like, and there's that Kevious. So let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Like, as you all know, we went to the track and uh, results were mm, decent at best. But uh, overall, I'm happy with the car. It looks promising. The engine is making good power, right? We were about to have to buy a new clutch, new input shaft and all that type stuff for the car. And the reason, if you're, if you're wondering why I'm saying input shaft as well, it's because we still have a 10 spline. And if we're gonna upgrade, we need to go ahead <laughs> because we're going to need to go ahead and upgrade to a 26 spline that's a lot of money right so instead of doing all that stuff we've decided to take andrew c4 out of his car and put it in the calypso <laughs> what, are, what are you trying to we say did, we did see a black widow <laughs> yeah, like legit this is new <laughs> yeah. and just so you know that's gear old people it's not Oh, you got some black the widow eggs in there? Yes, those are black widow eggs. Secret of the Anyway, guys, that's what we're going to be doing. So tonight, we're going to go ahead and pull this transmission out. And I know you guys are going to be curious as to what Andrew's going to be getting for his car. So trust me, stay tuned. We'll cover all of that type stuff. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and pop this transmission out. And uh, we'll pick back up somewhere else. I don't feel like video and all this. This is going to be you know, a long process. Catch up with you guys in just a few minutes. update for you guys like i said i'm not going to video this this whole thing obviously we're going to do a time lapse but we're kind of hit and miss on when we were working on it and when we were talking so uh, as you can see it's a transmission you take it out i mean it ain't no big deal i don't really have any tips or tricks to give you guys on this uh we're going to get this thing down though and uh, look at it and we'll kind of go over a game plan of what we want to do so we'll cover that here in just a few minutes look at that right there yeah that's that's ball red sea. <laughs> so, so, so just so y'all know, Andrew, are you excited about this? Yes, extremely. Andrew is like tickled to death to have this thing out from underneath we this just car. Had it, we had it, we got it out in about 25 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like immediately. Like as soon as Andrew's like, all right, so it's up to you, whatever you want to do. And I was like, it don't matter to me. He was like, you just say the word, we'll take it out tonight. I literally told him, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> and he jumped on taking it out. So. Good riddance. Yeah, he's at good riddance. But this will work out good for us. There are a few little issues that I think we're going to talk about here in just a minute. We'll get the transmission out, then we'll talk about it. Oh, uh, Harbor Freight stand's working pretty good. It's it a little shaky, please. Yeah, I mean, it ain't the best, but it'll absolutely yeah, it work. It's a little shaky, but that price was extreme. Yeah, that, that, price, price, that price was sweet. As you all know, we were having an issue with this thing spraying transmission fluid. I think we got that fixed. We did try the car out and didn't have any issues. So I think once we resealed that, we didn't have any uh, issues there. And this is what I want everybody to think about. Truly think about what I'm saying here. We have a working combination right here that we literally can transfer over into the Calypso. It will 100% work just like it did in Andrew's car. Minus the leak, we did <laughs> we did at least fix the leak. But I mean, what I'm trying to say is we know we have all the components to make it work. So think of it this way. If we have to send this thing back to the transmission shop, get any upgrades or anything like that done, we've got a system that works right here. And that's what's important for the clip. So, so that's why I'm so excited about going, going this route anyway. So uh, we're gonna take his flex plate off and all that, uh, and we get a shifter and all that stuff out. So we'll go ahead and knock all that out. From under the car. Yeah, and clean out from underneath the car. It needs it. It looks like the Adam family in here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like a damn scene from Arachnophobia. <laughs> I swear. So if you guys don't know, Andrew, you want to tell them some specs on this thing, like what's been done to the transmission? I don't know what's been done to it. Uh, it's got the drum's been cut and expanded. It's got race clutches in it. Uh, manual valve body. Yeah, manual reverse mm -hmm. valve body. Reverse no brake. manual valve body, whatever you want to say it. Yeah, it doesn't have trans brake provisions in the valve body. I'm really not sure why I didn't do that, but I was probably <laughs> just ordering stuff. Yeah. It's got a deep pan. Uh, that's actually just a JEGS converter, but I have another converter that just needs to be sent off and rebuilt. Yeah. So, 
So let's talk about that for a second. He actually has a dynamic converter. So uh, that's a really good converter. It needs to be sent back off. So we are going to run this converter for right now in my car because of, this is the way I look at it. If it'll hold up to a nitrous car, it'll definitely hold up to a turbo car for a little while. So we're gonna play around with this combination. We'll catch up with you guys in just a second. All right, so as you can see, we've got the Calypso on the lift. We're not gonna be doing a whole lot tonight. We're just gonna take the exhaust off and uh, probably drive shaft. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, we may go ahead and just pop the, uh, the transmission itself out. Probably not gonna do the bell housing for sure. We're just, we're just messing around tonight, guys. Just messing around a little bit. We'll just, we'll figure out our shifter placement. That's gonna be the biggest thing. So once we get all this out of the way, we'll just kind of play around with the shifter. Once we get that right, guys, putting this transmission in is not gonna be nothing. It's not gonna be nothing. Not gonna be nothing. All right, guys, so it is uh, a couple nights later. And what I wanna do is kind of take you guys along and show you what I've done. I don't know how much of this I have video, so I'm sorry. Uh, I had to actually take a couple days off. I had some other stuff to do. So we do have the transmission out of the car, as you can see, and the bell housing off. And this is something I wanna show you guys. Check this out. Look how bad that crankshaft is. So we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But first off, I wanna look at this clutch. This thing stinks and I can smell it all the way from here. So this is part of the issue that we were having. Uh, you can see the hot spots on the clutch where it slipped. It's not the worst that I've ever seen by any means. And this clutch will be fine for street driving. No issues there. But, whew, that thing stinks. But it definitely got hot and smoked. So, that's why we couldn't grab second gear and the car just really didn't run right. But, um, let's talk about this pilot bearing issue right here for a second. So, this is the story. When... I got this engine out of the convertible Fox body. It had an AOD behind it. So we decided we were gonna put the T5 in it. Well, I pulled the AOD out and then I saw this. Now, you gotta remember, I'm laying on my back, you know, on jack stands. It didn't look that bad to me at the time. So I just took a pilot bearing and beat it in there. And yeah, um, it's got sharp edges, gouges. It's, it's pretty bad in there, guys. You guys remember this transmission? I said it always had a whine. Like, it just, I don't know, it just didn't didn't sound right from, from day one. Well, the previous T5 that was in it that's now in Andrew's car had that same noise. So that tells me that it was something to do with my car. Well, there you go. Basically what had happened was I had to beat the pilot bearing in there and it probably squished it, like made it oval or something like that. Anyway, that had something to do with what was going on. That's what I found so far. Andrew's on his way over tonight, and what we're gonna do is, well, he's gotta work on his truck. Oh yeah, we got some issues with Andrew's lightning, by the way. But he did get his new wheels on. We still gotta lower the front end of the truck, um, but his truck completely like died on him a couple nights ago, which was part of the reason why we don't have any footage of this car in the past couple days. My wife had some stuff she needed my help with last night, so for the past two nights, I've just been getting after it. So um, anyway, Andrew's gonna be over in a few minutes, work on his truck, see if he can't get it back going. It's a fuel issue. I think the relay that goes to the pumps uh, quit, it's bad. So he's gonna get under there, jack it up, try to diagnose that. And then I'm gonna be over here working on my car. Uh, we're gonna put a new rear main seal in the car, and then we're gonna clean this up and basically go ahead and get the transmission in here. As far as the, the cooler situation, so we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this huge transmission cooler that he has and we're probably going to put this thing up here now we are buying the steeda crash bar basically that that real small tube up here so that may free up a little bit of space for us up here so we might be able to run that cooler up there now uh, i don't really know we're just going to have to see how everything works out i'm willing to cut and do whatever we need to do to make this thing work but i really really want to put it right in here so i'll probably take the horns off they don't work anyway and put this cooler up in here with a fan on it i'm going to go ahead and pull this rear main seal out and put the new one in and then we're going to clean up that hole and then we're hopefully going to go ahead and get this transmission up in place so i'll be doing a lot of time lapse tonight if i need to i'll just butt in and talk to you guys afterwards and uh also like i said andrew's gonna be working his truck so all right without any further ado let's go ahead and get busy Standard cause us 
hustle's not an option. The world is a cake and I'm on top like I'm topping. The devil keeps knocking cause the devil is obnoxious. If I get knocked down, I get back up, I'm not stopping. To the flow, so I know just how you feel when shit don't go how you want. I swear you gotta believe it, believe it before you can see it. Prepare, cause people will doubt you and friends will start disappearing. That's why I'm hungry for life. Work through the day with no sleep and hustle all fucking night until my family can eat. I prayed and prayed every day, then my purpose was clear. That's when I stepped to the plate and showed the world that I'm here. I'm here. All right, guys, it's time to go ahead and close this video out. So as you can see, we got the transmission in the car tonight, got the drive shaft in, um, everything's bolted up. The only thing left to do is uh, bolt the shifter down and then run the, the linkage, that's it. Everything else is buttoned up, well, and the exhaust. But um, I just wanna kinda take you around, I still gotta get the clutch cable out, and show you kind of, now this is somewhat makeshift, for the transmission lines, but everything is pulled up out of the way, zip tied up. Uh, we're gonna actually get some clamps, some insulated clamps, but for right now, uh, this will work. It just doesn't look the best. So, um, transmission lines, you guys can't see them, but they go over the top of the transmission, come out right here, and everything is tucked in. Now, the way I did this, I intentionally ran it behind stuff like this uh, to keep it away from this exhaust because remember guys this is a turbo car and that exhaust like glows red on a pull so you want to keep all this stuff away from it as much as possible looks really nice uh i got my trans cooler mounted up here it seemed to be a really good spot it's going to catch a little bit of air it still needs a fan on it so we're going to get a low profile fan put on this thing at some point but for right now it'll at least work for us to go up down the road a little bit we got the stiffler's mount basically i just got andrews i was going to order one anyway because we will be running a drive shaft loop in here and we're going to run the stiffler's drive shaft loop and i wanted to run their mount anyway so that works out pretty good i'm just gonna have to buy andrew a new one i do have a new servo cover ordered uh from jegs it'll just be a little while it'll be monday before it comes in so uh tonight is what's today thursday so it's Thursday night right now. So uh, I think we got the cover sealed up good enough to be able to just kind of test. We'll have to really keep an eye on it though. But um, so let's talk about the stall converter, all that real quick. Like uh, Andrew, you said that's what a 20 or 30? 26 to 28. 26 to 28 uh, converter, which it all matters on weight of the vehicle, gearing and all that stuff. So it should work out pretty good. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see how all this, all this pans out guys i'm super excited right now just so you guys know like i've been wanting this for a long time but i'm also a little nervous obviously uh anything could happen right now with this thing uh it did work in andrew's car it just had a leak but it's a whole new setup here so i don't know bear with us we're gonna do a little bit of tuning speaking of tuning real quick like the uh tune in the car is probably gonna have to be altered a little bit because it's gonna see loads that it's not ever really seen before so I'll kind of have to do some data logging and go over that, but we got to get this car out and at least make a couple hits in the road. Uh, see if it's going to do good. We'll get it to the track before Ford takeover and see what she does. Um, I will tell you my new number on the time. Um, now I want to be realistic here with you guys. I feel like the unknown is the converter and we do have basically 331 gears, but I still feel like this car should be capable of I want to see a 730. That's what I want to see. If we don't see a 730, then we're going to have to make a converter change like immediately. That's my goal. 730s on the car right now. Ultimately, I want to see sixes out of the car, like 690s uh, with the current setup, like I said, other than maybe uh, like a converter change or something like that. Andrew's super excited. You can tell how excited he is about just everything in general andrew said he's studying so this is what we found to be the problem with andrew's truck basically the uh, fuel pumps just kind of quit working so you could tap them and they would they would work but yeah we don't we don't want to risk it so uh, he's going to order some new fuel pumps that's what he's doing right now get his lightning back on the road anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and as always thanks for watching